Okay, today I'm going to plant some burr oak acorns. I've got 90 of these. I've actually got a bunch more, but I'm going to plant 90 of them today. And I'm going to plant them in these 18-cell uh, tray, root maker trays. And they got the openings in here, and this is to prevent circling of the roots. The roots grow out these little holes that air prunes them. They branch out, make a nice fibrous root system. So that's what I'm going to plant. I've got... I collected 200 of these last fall from, actually collected these from a tree at my dad's place. And I floated them again. They all sunk again. I took one, sacrificed one, busted it open just to see what they look like inside. They look great inside still. So hopefully they're still good viable acorns and that'll sprout for me. And I was looking through them and I saw a few. I'm not gonna be able to find one now that I'm looking. I saw a few that were starting to crack already. So that maybe has a little bit of a crack. There's one right there. They're already starting to crack a little bit. So hopefully these will germinate pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up. I did something a little bit different with my dirt. Just hit my camera there. I uh, did something a little bit different with my dirt this time. It's before, this is the same mix to what I had before, but I pre-moistened my peat moss because my peat moss was so dry before. I was really, really having to water these a lot to ever get these things to really soak in good. So I pre-moistened my peat moss this time. I think this is going to work a lot better. Should have done that the first time. I just didn't. So I've already got four of these trays filled. I was going to fill one of them on camera because I know that's kind of boring for you just to watch me fill up trays with dirt. So this is my peat moss and perlite. And then I got a micro mix, micro, micronutrients and fertilizer mix in there too. So what I'm doing on these, I'm just rubbing it across gently, shaking it down a little bit because I don't, I don't want to pack these in too much yet because I want to have enough room to get my acorns in there. These things are huge acorns. This is one of my favorite trees. So I'm just putting these things kind of catacorny, quarter, at an angle there and pressing them down and I'll come back and put a light layer of dirt across them after I get them all in here. But this is bur oaks or to me, they're one of the most majestic, prettiest trees around. Now, I'm hoping I get a really nice one out of this bunch that I'm going to nurture up and actually plant in my own yard just because I love them so much. And the fact that these came from my dad's place too, so it'll be kind of sentimental for me. But, huge leaves, huge acorns. The, the branch structure on them, it's just, it's just, they're just, the only way I can describe them, they're just a majestic looking tree. I love them. So, that's all I'm doing. I'm just pressing them down in here and then coming back with a light layer of dirt across the top to cover them. They don't have to be very deep. Like I said before, and I planted the Shumard Red Oaks, you know, acorns typically just fall off the tree and maybe get mashed down in the dirt a little bit over the winter time. They don't even have to be completely buried and they'll root and come up just fine. So, so there's one of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through and get all the rest of them planted and then we'll talk about them just a little bit. So I'll fast forward from here. Okay, I got these things all planted, and uh, like I said, that's I guess 90, 90 trees that I planted out of these. Uh, I am uh, going to move them into the backyard. I've got my tables built now. I built, well, I say my tables. I built one of my tables uh, to hold my plants with. It's actually going to go in my greenhouse when I get the greenhouse built, but as I said before, I'm running kind of behind on getting the greenhouse built. So 
I'm getting these things planted and they can go ahead and start germinating outside. So I'm going to go ahead and take you to the backyard here in a minute. I'm going to move these to the backyard and then I'll show you where I got all this stuff and where I've got some of the other trees that I've already planted up. So we'll go back there and take a look at that and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, here we are in the backyard and here's my five flats of uh, bur oaks. This is my table I built and this is actually one of two. I've got to build a second one. I'm probably going to start on that this afternoon. And when I get done, I think it's going to hold 25 total flats of trees. Uh, I've kind of got them whopper jawed right now, not the way that I'm going to end up having them set up, but I need to get the other table built. So I've got them set up where I can get 25 of them on there at all different kinds of trees. So, and then eventually this will go, it's going to be 15 feet long total, three feet wide. And then once I get the greenhouse built, then these will all be in the greenhouse. And then I may build another smaller table for the other side. And then I may also move while I'm back here, I'll go ahead and show you. I got my, these are my Japanese maples. There's some of my uh, liripe that I've been subdividing out. And, and there's uh, pansies that I planted and from seed last year that are just now blooming this late March. It's kind of late for pansies, but they did finally bloom out. Anyway, so there's my green maples that I'm gonna do the uh, grafting on. There's my red maples that I'm just planning on building, you know, growing up and selling eventually. They're actually pretty as they are. And there's my Japanese, or my uh, blood good Japanese maple that I'm gonna use for cuttings on some of the green maples. Probably gonna plant that in the yard later. And then these are the taki, taki kiyamas. Uh, these are coming out really pretty. They just look like sticks when I planted them, but they're, they're really coming out nice, branching out, really pretty growth. Nice little lace leaf on them. So these are gonna be really nice. So anyway, go back over here. Oh, and there's some uh, chase trees that I transplanted last year. They're actually coming back out and doing really nice. So anyway, so there's my bur oaks. And uh, hopefully within a couple weeks, we'll start seeing some stuff come up out here and we'll start doing some tours out here to see what's what's coming up, what's, what's sprouting and what's not sprouting. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Keep, keep checking back with me. We're going to be got, still got, I'm a little over halfway done planting all these trees so i still got quite a few more to plant so i appreciate you watching please like subscribe when you subscribe hit the little bell notification that way you'll know when i do updates i appreciate it thank you bye